how to start using the law of attraction. I'm just sharing how I started and uh, what's actually what actually really helped me stepping into it because I dabbled a little bit at the beginning and didn't really know how to apply this to my life. Like how I could apply the fact that my thoughts are really having a high impact on my circumstances, on my life. What I started to do was I was already meditating in the morning, every morning for probably 20 minutes or something. And since two years, uh, when I started, finally, like wanted to start using the law of attraction. So um, for a long time, I just watched videos about it and never did anything. So what I did was uh, I started visualizing uh, what I want to, what I wanted to have in my life uh, during my meditation or just after it. So I would like, for example, uh, and that's kind of what I'm doing right now. I sit down, I meditate, I do a certain kind of meditation. There are different kinds, but basically the goal for me is just to relax my body and not to directly like go and think. So I, I just relax my body for maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes or something like that. And after that, for between five and 15 minutes, I think about uh, what I want to experience in my life. And um, I, I think about what's most important, I feel like in my life, what I, what I feel like will have the most bene uh, beneficial ripples, positive ripples in my whole life. And uh, so for me, it's doing videos that help people. And uh, so that's what I visualize. And I also visualize like things that are kind of uh, a consequence of it. So I visualize my, visualize my new friends, my health, my, the, the, the place where I live. And so that's what I'm doing. But what happened was that first, when I started doing this in the morning, I had actually no idea what I really wanted. And so two months ago, what I started to do was uh, to what they call scripting. So what you do is just like you sit down and you write for 20 minutes what you want to experience in your life. And so now I do both. Like I do the visualization in the morning and I also write down what I want to experience. And the writing down is exactly the same thing. I, I really write down like... Um, as if I had already experienced what I want. So I write in the past and I describe a certain situation that I want to have in my life. And I described it as from, from the inside, through my own eyes, as if I had already gone through it. And what is really good about writing down what you want for a certain amount of time every day, especially at the beginning, it's like that you force, it's, it's, you, you, you force your mind to finally focus on something you want and it's pretty easy to concentrate and to focus because you are writing so you're doing something and your mind is kind of focused on the movement of the writing and it's easier to not daydream too much about maybe like your life you know unconsciously so it also enables me to uh, have a lot of new ideas while I write uh, for like my morning session. And uh, so I find that combining really the writing down and the visualization in the morning is really good. What you can do at the beginning is to only visualize for five minutes because uh, it's, it's kind of hard. It's a little bit... Um, it can be demoralizing at the beginning because you're like, man, I don't know how to visualize. How the fuck am I doing that? So you have to figure out like how your brain works, how you actually like uh, think about memories. Are your memories more like uh, more feelings, emotions, or are there more smells? Or how does your mind like uh, uh, remember things? You have to figure that out in order to visualize a proper way. But it's kind of natural actually. And it builds up when you do it every morning, every day, and then you know how to do it and it gets more pleasant and you can do it for more than five minutes and then just like extend the session a little bit. And what I also do is that I set intentions. So 
I say affirmations throughout my whole day, actually uh, a lot, like very often. And I say what I want to happen. So if I'm, um, it can be like anything. Before taking the public transport in town, for example, what I'm doing is I, I'm just saying like in my head, okay, I'm going to have my, my train just on time. I'm not gonna miss it. I'm not saying I'm not gonna miss it. I'm just saying I'm gonna have it on time or I'm gonna arrive on time or I'm gonna have a nice ride. I'm gonna like read and reprogram my mind or whatever. And I say these intentions during the whole day. And so these are basically probably the three things that I'm doing right now. And I think I can really see an impact on my life. Like for example, I, um, what I also did is I was looking for a job and I wrote down a list of all um, the characteristics that I wanted to have for that job and also the date at which I wanted to find my job. I did this three times, two times it didn't work and the third time I it's the job I just found and uh, it almost ha like um, has, like I'd say it has like two thirds or three quarters of what I wrote down on this list. And this list, I did it like just three times and the two first times it didn't work, but I just like, it's something I do once and then I don't watch the list anymore. It's not something I'm doing daily. And so like the work is not exactly what I wanted, but it's crazy how similar it is to what I wrote down. And I never thought that I'd be able to find such a fit so I'm going to have that like job and it's cool. And so that's also a first thing that I did. So basically what I'm doing is visualizing. Uh, I'm writing down every day how I want to feel, what I want to experience. And like I'm describing the scene. Um, I'm setting intentions in my head throughout the whole day. And what I'm also doing is when I want a particular outcome, like a job or uh I would probably do that also for uh, the home I want to have the, how do you call that? I don't know, like find, if I want to find a flat, I'm going to like list every characteristic that I want to have just like once, then I'd put it somewhere. I'm not going to throw it away. And uh, I just like try to act in the direction of that. Action is also important. So that's what I'm doing.